Well, this should be a fun video. I'm excited for this one. We are going to be not only working with one of my favorite products, blush, but we're gonna be working with Wayne Goss blushes. Hey lovelies, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. If you know me, you know that I have a soft spot for Wayne Goss and when I saw that he was launching some new things for spring, I was really excited. Now, I must say that the products that he launched this spring, you know, we saw the little sneak peek and I knew what I was hoping for. I did actually share that on Instagram and it's not, it's not what came out and I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but I was excited to see the two new blushes. So I'm gonna be sharing both of those with you today and we'll talk a little bit about my thoughts. Uh, I did not pick up the two new lipsticks. I really honestly don't need any more lipstick. I am actually wearing a Wayne Goss lipstick right now. Actually, pretty much everything that I'm wearing today is Wayne Goss, as much of it as I could pile on. It will all be linked down in the description box, by the way, if you are curious. But I do like his lipstick formula. It's just not like something that I need more of right now in my collection. So I passed on those, but I do have the four blushes that he has already launched. I thought we could do some swatch comparisons if I feel like there's anything that might be kind of similar in case you were looking at getting one or both of these and you want to know all the details. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We're going to dive right in. Let's go ahead and start out with some swatches. We'll do an application and I will pop in those comparisons at the end. All right, so like I said, I did get both of the new blushes. If you are new to Wayne Goss's blushes, they come in this beautiful like black lacquered packaging. It's a fingerprint magnet. I will tell you that. <laughs> this one is the Sweet Wildflower palette. Now Wayne describes this as a dusty rose blush and a soft sandy gold highlighter. So Honestly, I'm gonna be very curious to see how this highlight compares to one in one of Wayne's other palettes. So I was like, I gotta get this because I really need to see the comparison. However, I thought that this blush was so stunning. I was like, I, I really need to get this one. So we will be putting that on one side of my face. And then here we also have the Desert Blossom palette. So this one is definitely more like pinky leaning. So on the Beautylish website, this is described as a soft warm pink and a rose gold highlight. Come on now, you had to know that I was gonna end up picking this one up for the highlight. So right off the bat, I do have to say that I wish that these were a little bit more different. By the way, I totally just like scarred this one, scraped this one across the other one. Ah, I hate that. <laughs> So they are, they are just a little closer than I would have liked. At first glance, they do look similar in the pan. I'm really having a hard time not giving you guys like major flash. So obviously the two highlights are different and the blushes are a little too close for my liking. But this one is gonna be, if you are a more like dusty pink lover, this is for you. If you want something that's a little bit more in that almost like warm nude, family, like where it's like, it's not quite pink and it's not quite nude. I think this might be for you. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm going to swatch them by each other so we can do some comparisons. All right. So hopefully you are able to see here. I have to say, especially with Wayne's blushes, because they are so like buildable and soft and blendable, you really have to like try to pack a blush on to really see. But this is the uh, Desert Blossom. So that is the more pink tone. And then this one is Sweet Wildflower. So you can see that this has a little bit deeper tone and it's more of like a muted rosy nude. Now here we have the new highlight in the Desert Blossom palette and the one that's in the Sweet Wildflower palette. So the Desert Blossom, I'm hoping that you can see this. It is such a stunning rose gold shade. To me, this is the perfect rose gold highlight shade. It's not too pink. It's like not too gold, it's right there in the middle. So this one I feel like is, you know, really like a nice little like gold champagne -y moment, but I do feel like it might be similar to another one that Wayne has. All right, so let's get to the fun part of all of this, putting it on our face, putting it on my face. So by the way, I did not put on any bronzer. I will do so, I will maybe do so after we apply our blush and highlight, but I just wanted you to be able to see the true tone of these. So Aileen, if you're watching this, my friend Aileen from Amridge Beauty, do not pass out. I'm not wearing bronzer. Calm down, girl. It's going to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's go through right away. You know, I had to pick the rose gold one. We're going to go ahead and apply the blush first. I'm using the Wayne Goss number 14 brush. This is like my favorite uh, brush for blush. <laughs> I have to make sure that that was going to come out right. So this is definitely like soft and buildable. Now I will say uh, right now it is like the beginning of March. So I am the 
palest probably I am of all year. So keep that in mind. I would say that I am like a light to medium skin tone, like maybe medium in the summertime, but right now I'm definitely in that light zone. So this definitely just has that like nice light rosy tone and I love a good blush moment. So you could leave this really light, but I, I love a good blush. So I like to pack it on. So right away, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and use the Sweet Wildflower. I'm gonna use this one on the number 10. I probably should have done it the opposite way, like use the more intense blush with the fluffier brush, but that's all right. Just to show that you can use, you know, either of these brushes. So this definitely has a warmer, a warmer tone and it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more muted as far as like this one will come up like a little brighter and this one will just be like, again, a little more nude, but this, they're both very pretty. This one definitely is like more pinky though. So if you don't love a pink blush, I mean, it's a warm pink, it's not like bubble gum, but if you don't like a, like a pink, a true pink blush, then you probably won't like this. But this shade, I feel like this is a shade that could really work for a lot of people. All right, so here we have Dusty Rose from the Sweet Wildflower palette, and here we have Nectar from the Desert Blossom palette. Okay, so let's take Petal. That is that highlight shade in the Desert Blossom palette, the more pink palette. This is the beautiful rose gold one. By the way, I'm taking a Morphe 510. Uh, a lot of my brushes are dirty right now, and so I have to say, though, this is one of my favorite highlight brushes <laughs> to use. So uh, I don't really... I guess I could have grabbed one of Wayne's big eyeshadow brushes, but oh well. Ooh, that is really pretty. Now I do right now have like a lovely little breakout right here that I probably wouldn't normally be popping highlighter over the top of. It's, it's very pretty. It is pink, like it's rosy, but it's not like crazy. I always, I usually like to just take my finger and just kind of like tap in a little bit and of course you could mix these together and make a really pretty like pearlescent blush that would be very very pretty oh I should have not put highlight on my brow bone we could have like highlighted each brow bone oh well okay so now for this side I'm going to take the uh, spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes number eight brush and we're going to go into the honeysuckle shade this is that sort of like goldy champagne shade Ooh. Pretty. Okay, I like this because it's not overly gold. Like if you if you don't love like gold gold, I think that you would still really like this, but it does have some warmth to it. Especially if I like build this up, I can see more warmth, but it's not like overly done. I have to say, I feel like, and it could just be the texture. My skin is so dry right now. I feel like this came up a little more. Like, I don't want to say patchy, but I can see this one on the skin more. But again, that just could be my dry skin right now. Well, I have to say, I like both of them. Um, the differences are going to be somewhat subtle. Like this is definitely more on the warmer, more nude side. And then this is gonna be on that like pinkier, but not like crazy pink. You'll have to let me know, do you have a side that you prefer? So I'm just gonna go through with the more like satin glowy bronzer in here. I have the uh, bronze and sculpt in satin bronze. That's funny that I just called it a satin bronzer. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go through with the bronze glow shade and I'm just gonna like blend this in here just so we can get the full effect. So speaking of bronzer, okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. So what I said in my Instagram stories was I really hope, you know, cause you got to see there were two palettes, not unopened and two lipsticks. And I was like, okay, what I'm hoping to see is another darker bronzer color, because we all know that really Wayne needs to come out with at least one more shade of, of this bronzer duo. 
I was like, I'm hoping to see a deeper bronzer. And then I thought it would be nice to see something that's like a, like a berry shade, like something that has a little bit more pop to it and can be sheared out or worn a little deeper. Like for instance, Vivid Azalea is hands down my favorite, favorite duo from the Weightless Veil blush palettes. So I, I feel like that color looks good on everyone and it is crazy, crazy bright and very pigmented, but you can sheer it out. I've seen it on the palest of skin and I've seen it on the deepest of skin. I was hoping to see something that, you know, had sort of that, that vibe. I was hoping for something that was a really versatile color. I feel like looking at both of these, by the way, I feel much better with a little bronzer on now, especially now coming into spring. I'm like, yes, let's pretend like I've been in the sun a little bit. That's just kind of, it just, it just makes me feel like I've got a face again. <laughs> okay, so here is the compact that I thought the highlighters were going to look similar. I mean, you know, on camera right now, they probably do look very similar. It's so hard to not blind you. I'm going to swatch these next to each other, but this is the Coral Rose palette. And I right away was like, I feel like that highlighter is gonna be really similar to the one in the Coral Rose palette. So we'll have to, we'll have to pop these next to each other. But other than that, I feel like these all have quite a bit of difference from the other shades that Wayne has done. I'm a little bit surprised because right away I thought there's gonna be some similarities in here, but let's take a look at the Coral Rose Blush. This is definitely pinker and well, I guess I would say more corally than what is in the Desert Blossom. Sorry, I haven't memorized the names yet. So it's a little bit more saturated and a little bit more coral. Like you definitely get a little bit more pigment out of that. So then we also have the Blush Peony palette and this is like way more pink. So these are both like along that more like nude soft line. So if that's your jam, you're probably really gonna like these. The highlights, uh, the, the rose gold highlight is nothing like anything else within this collection. I can tell you that right now. By the way, if you haven't seen Vivid Azalea, cause I was just like touting its praises, here it is. Like, like bam. Like I feel like we could have had something that has this level of saturation but can be sheared out. And then that way, many skin tones could wear it. So like I said, I've seen this on the palest of skin and I've seen it on the deepest of skin and I think it just looks gorgeous on everyone. So I feel like something, I don't know. And I'm not even sure, like I said, like a, I keep saying a berry, but like maybe a, a more nudie berry, but something that has more depth. I just wanted to see more depth. I think that I'm gonna love both of these palettes like I feel like both of these blushes I feel like I could probably let's go ahead and like cram on a little more color so let's go ahead and take that desert blossom shade and we're gonna like pack this over the top of what we've already put down and that'll also just like blend that highlight in a little bit so I can build this up a decent bit let's go ahead and also go into the uh, sweet wildflower palette yeah this one definitely has like some more warmth this one is gonna be you know much more buildable just because it is a little bit more saturated I feel like on camera, it's maybe not picking up the color quite as much because I wanted to like keep the lights down a little bit so that the color didn't all get blown out. But I'm telling you, I've got, I've got a good bit of blush on right now, but I like both of them. However, I feel like if you are much darker than me, you are not going to get much use out of this blush. Like this blush is going to be the softest whisper of color on your face if you're down for that. I think the highlight would be beautiful on a lot of skin tones, like up into like medium, medium deep even, it would be very pretty because I feel like this is warm enough that it's not going to look like super ashy on the skin or like overly icy. So I feel like the highlight is very flexible. The blush is really not going to be, in my opinion. So I have to say though, I keep getting, getting a little bit confused because when I think desert blossom, I think something warmer. Like I think of like, Arizona, you know, kind of like those terracotta tones. So I'm thinking more like this side. And then when I think of wildflower, I think of like brighter, pinkier, like pinky tones. And so then I'm thinking like the pinkier side, but it's the opposite. So I'm getting a little confused. Anyway, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think that both of these palettes are going to be very beautiful. I'm a little bit disappointed that Wayne did not pull out another bronzer shade, maybe for summer, like maybe he's holding off thinking that like bronzer is more of a summer launch. I'm not sure, but he definitely needs to pull out one more color. Cause I know he was like, uh, I'm funding this on my own. I only have so much funds to be able to create so many products, but it's like he's launched several products since those bronzers came out. So I feel like, 
Um, unless the bronzer sales just aren't very high, that could be too. Like maybe it's just not a very popular product. That is one thing that it's like, well, if this isn't a good selling product, then maybe he's not gonna focus in that area. But most of the people I know that have tried the bronzer really, really love it. So I really hope that for summer he steps up and brings out a darker bronzer because it's needed. I would, I mean, now looking at the comparison here, like these two blushes, they are different. They are different from everything else. They really are different from each other. There could have been a little bit more of a difference, but I would have liked to have seen another like fun color that could work for everybody. That is just my opinion, but I wanted you to be able to see these on my skin. You'll have to let me know your thoughts. Again, I just wanted to do a quick little video showing you these in case you were thinking about getting them. Now we are going to move into some swatches. So if you want to see some comparisons, I will do that now. I'm going to compare them to anything that's even similar within the Wayne Goss blushes and anything else that's in my collection that I can find that might be similar. So if you want to stick around for those, we're getting into it right now. If not, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, if it was helpful, don't forget to give it a like on your way out. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me and I'll see you really soon. Now let's get into swatches. All right, so starting with some comparison swatches, this is the Sweet Wildflower palette. So here we have the blush shade, the Dusty Rose shade. And then here is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Now I did swirl the outside and the inner dot together. So this one has a little bit more sheen. And then here we have Becca Damselfly. Obviously you can't get this one anymore, but you might have it in your collection. It's, boy, it's a pretty close match. I think Damselfly is a little bit, warmer whereas i feel like pillow talk is a little bit cooler than the uh dusty rose shade sorry i keep having to refer back and then this is a shade that doesn't quite match this is the shade from the sigma rendezvous blush duo from holiday a couple years ago i just thought it might be close because when you swirl this and the highlight together it's very close to pillow talk but on its own it's darker and more mauvey and then this is not really close at all this is the uh matte blush from samantha march and ofra's uh blush duo the chick lip blush i think this might I'm gonna see what it swatches like next to the other blush, but I think the closest one here is Damselfly or Pillow Talk. Uh, Pillow Talk is just a little bit cooler, and if you are swirling it, it has just like that slight bit of sheen to it. All right, well, this is exciting because I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel like I have anything that matches this. This is the highlight from the Desert Blossom palette, or I'm sorry, the Sweet Wildflower palette. This is Honeysuckle. And right away, I picked out the shade from the Coral Rose palette. This is called uh, Rosy, which I don't understand because it's not really rosy, but wow. When I swatch this Honeysuckle shade, I can really see that it's a combination. I think this might be the one that Wayne Goss said that was like a silver, pink, and gold. And now that I've like swatched it out compared to some other colors, I really see that. So again, this is the one from Coral Rose, not at all the same. I was going through my Becca, highlights and this is opal and this is vanilla quartz neither of them are close like not at all and then this is let's see what is that last one that i pulled out oh this is the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime skin highlighter in lunar nude that was the one from holiday uh again not the same but i'm gonna see if this is close to the one in the other palette that rose goldy shade so i'm feeling pretty good because i don't feel like i i mean the blush yes i had something similar ish but I don't feel like I have anything like this highlighter, surprisingly. This is the shade Nectar, so that is that pinky blush. Right next to it, right away, I thought maybe the uh, matte blush from the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This is Pink Dahlia, but it's not quite the same. Pink Dahlia is, I think, even a bit warmer, and of course, like you can see that this has a beautiful natural satin sheen to it. I just love Wayne's blush formula so much which is why I had to get these both of them. Now I have six of them. <laughs> so this just has a beautiful finish on the skin. This one's a little bit more matte matte. Then here we have, again, another Becca blush that you can't get anymore, but this is Flower Child. This was a very popular one, so I thought I would just pull this one out. And then here we have the shade uh, Dim Infusion from Hourglass. So since this is one of their powders that has the ambient lighting powder in it. It's a little bit hard to see. Okay, real quick, I pulled out the Ofra Chiclet blush. This one is warmer too. So again, I don't have anything quite the same. I think that the Dim Infusion gives a similar feel, but this has more pigment to it. This one just has a little bit more glow because of that, uh, the ambient powder in it. So again, one that I don't exactly have a full dupe for, which is probably okay for me. 
Okay, hopefully you were able to see the differences here. So we do have two, actually almost three that are kind of similar. So this is the uh, petal shade. This is the rose gold highlight from the Wayne Goss Desert Blossom palette. And then here we have that Pat McGrath highlighter. That's the last holiday one. The uh, Sublime Skin Highlighter in Lunar Nude. It's pretty close. The Pat McGrath one is a little bit more metallic and I would say has a little bit more like nudiness to it. I like here it looks like it's lighter because that metallicness. Wow, that's not a word, but that metallic sheen is higher, but the base is a little bit more of like a bronzy nude. Here we have Becca's rose gold, not the same at all, like much deeper and not nearly as like shim shimmy. And then this is actually another somewhat close one. This is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. So not quite the same. Privilege is a little bit more peachy, whereas the uh, petal shade is a little bit more rosy, but kind of close here. Finishes are different. Like these two are definitely different finishes. If I want Wham Bam, this is going to be the highlighter that I want. But if I want a little bit more subtle, I think I'll go for the Wayne Goss one. And then this one is just a little bit warmer yet. So hope those help. Okay, so if you stuck around for the swatches, I just wanted to jump in here at the end to say, after going through my collection, I really am pretty happy that I have both of these. I did find some similarities, funny enough, which, I mean, obviously I'm such a rose gold lover that the chances of me having a similar rose gold highlight maybe were close, but I do feel like the formula of this one, it just lays on the skin so nice. So this would be the one that I reach for if I am wanting to wear a powder highlight and I feel like my skin's a little textured. The Wayne Goss blush and highlight formulas, they're just so finely milled and I love how there's like that slight satin feel to the blush. It's not shimmery at all, but you can see in that swatches, especially uh, was it in this one or was it the last one? I think it was this one where you could just see that it has that little nice, like almost hydrated look. Whereas like a matte, matte blush just looks like matte. That's why they call it matte, Kelly. Wow. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm happy that I have both of these. I do wish that the blush in this palette was again, just a little bit more pigmented, had a little bit more oomph to it. But then again, there are maybe some incredibly pale people that just felt like none of the other blushes they could like wear if if you really struggle getting like a little bit of like light color on your cheeks without it looking too much maybe this will be the palette for you but i just feel like much darker than me and you're not going to get a lot out of this but the highlight is so pretty all right that's it i have compacts all over my vanity i'm going to clean this up i'll see you really soon